Anthony Martial puts his Manchester United future on hold. Wesley Schneider bids farewell to the international scene. Diego Maradona has two jobs on either side of the world. And Denmark are back to full strength after their discussions were put on hold. That and more coming up in the next few minutes. As I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You were the one footballers. And this is the Daily News. Oh, and if you're wondering how the one football team camp went, well, it rocks. But first up, and Anthony Martial has followed in the footsteps of Paul Pogba by refusing to sign a new contract to Manchester United until next summer at least. This means that much like with Pogba, they're pretty much waiting to see if Mourinho will be leaving before they will. Rumours that Mourinho won't be in the job very much longer are still bounding about, so this means the likes of Pogba and Martial are going to be waiting before signing a new long-term deal at Old Trafford. This could be though that Anthony Martial finds a loan deal or leaves on a free next summer as it's in the last year of his contract. Whereas for Paul Pogba, well, he could be subject to a huge money move from Barcelona next summer. But next up, we have someone departing the international scene and in rather an odd way. After Wesley Snyder's 134th appearance for the Netherlands national team, he was subject to sitting down in the middle of the field on a sofa with his wife and kids watching TV. In a bizarre farewell to the legendary midfielder, there were loads of messages from former teammates and former managers telling him what a fantastic career he had as long as fans hacking the Amsterdam Arena to show their support. His final international appearance ended on a high as a Memphis to Pi double saw them overcome Peru 2-1. So from one footballing great in Holland to another footballing great in Argentina who has somehow managed to bag himself another job. Seas of Diego Maradona being absolutely off his face at the World Cup probably meant that he wouldn't be getting a job anytime soon. Well, fast forward a few months and he has two. Not only is Maradona the chairman of Dinamo Brest in Belarus, a few thousand miles away in Mexico, he's just been named as the manager of second division side Dorados. They've only scored two goals in their first three games and it's hoped that the former World Player of the Year will be able to help them find the net again. However, how much he's going to be involved in either or remains to be seen. Maybe he can stay in Mexico and just piss around on the football pitch or maybe he can stay in the boardroom of Belarus and just get pissed. Either or, Maradona's doing fine. And finally, in the last few days, the Daily Chaffee have had major troubles with their players, causing them to field a team full of futsal and third division players for their game with Slovakia. This means that the likes of Delaney and Eriksson will be back on the field to take on a storming Wales side who have just come off the back of a fantastic 4-1 victory against the Republic of Ireland. Gareth Bale has managed to take his Real Madrid form into the international scene, helping them on their way with a fantastic goal. But whether Gareth Bale can keep this fine form up and take it back to Real Madrid is yet to be seen. Also, will this nail polish come off? That is also yet to be seen. While we're waiting for that and this, why don't you click right here to check out all the latest videos on One Football? That's all for me for now. Make sure you smash the like button down below. Let me know in the comment section what you thought on all of today's daily news. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.